up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here, GuitarJams.com. Happy to bring you another lesson. It's kind of a beginner lesson, but it requires, you know, that one bar chord, which is, I think, really good for the beginners that are trying to kind of get out of the beginner zone, you know, playing songs that just have one bar chord. I think that's always good. Uh, I've got free ebooks and blues lessons and all these different things. You can click the link below this box to check that stuff out and it helps support what I do here and I really appreciate it. But in the meantime, I'm going to teach you this free lesson right now. Here we go. Alright, so we basically got two sections. We got a verse and a chorus that I'm going to teach you right now. And the, the verse is just two chords repeating over and over and it's an A minor, 2nd fret, 2nd fret, 1st fret. Now you could play A minor 7, which you could put your pinky, that's A minor 7. Or you could take the A minor, take your ring off, that's A minor 7. Or A minor, they all can kind of be substituted for each other, but you get kind of that more moody kind of chord with that minor 7. Okay, and then we're going to go to what's called F sharp minor 7. And the F sharp part is talking about the root which it's the second fret. You've got F here, you got G here. You can call this F sharp or G flat. We're gonna bar that and we're gonna form this E minor looking shape right here. Now you could also play minor seven like I was doing and take your pinky off. Which gives you a little more jazzy sound. So you got. So that's the uh, the verse, A minor 7, F sharp minor 7, and you could even just do Okay, now we need the chorus. It's going to be a G chord, which there's a lot of different ways to play it. That's the most common way. G, 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 to A major, to D major, kind of like our favorite beginner chord here. And you can add your pinky to that third fret. Just, you know, just for fun, just for good measure. So the second time around, instead of holding D, it goes, and that's the B7 chord, which is the middle finger on the second fret of the A, index on the first of the D, ring on the second of the G, and then pinky on the second of the high E right there. But it's a good, if you're still learning this chord, it's good to think about this little piece first. And then eventually get your pinky in there because I, I just found that was the quickest way to get it and target your middle finger on the second fret of the A string right there and get the others. So we got the chorus. We got G G G A A D B seven. Then G G A A D. So that last time there's no D at all it just goes straight to an E major chord so when you put it all together it looks like this uh, A minor 7 or A minor A minor to F sharp
lesson for the day. Thanks for hanging out and hopefully learning something, maybe having a little fun, I don't know. Uh, but hopefully I'll see you in another lesson real soon. Guitarjams.com. See you later.